Yeah, yeah you'd use ten, wouldn't you? Because you got two, you got five, that's opposite and adjacent, right? So you'd say ten of that angle, let's call it theta, is two over five, yes? Which gives you theta equals ten inverse of two fifths, which someone could tell me, just give me nearest degree. Uh, Twenty-two degrees. Twenty-two degrees. Okay? So I can write 22 degrees up here, but when you have a look at this angle, right, instead of 10 inverse of 2 fifths, it's really 10 inverse of 3 eighths. Now, what's that to the nearest degree? 21 degrees. 21 degrees. Now, 21 degrees, 22 degrees, you and me, we can't tell what the difference is between those, okay? Um, and when you have a look at that, it looks pretty straight, doesn't it? One degree difference, no wonder you can't tell. Okay? But in fact, if I made it really obvious, you know, this degree is a bit smaller. So it's something like this, and then you've got a different triangle up there, right? And then that's, you've got, you know, then you've got your, your bits and pieces in here, okay? So this is an exaggerated view. You're like, of course it doesn't work, because this shape is not a triangle. You see there's this gap in here, see this gap, right? Now that gap is where this gap comes from, right? It's not very big, but over this space, it's just big enough to make a little square, okay? Because if you think about it, when they swap places, okay, instead of being like this shape, whoa, <laughs> oh well, um, you're going to get this shape. Okay, so you can see how this one bends inwards and this one bends outwards, right? See, there's, there's where the imaginary triangle is, okay? So from bending inwards to bending outwards, there's some missing area in here, so that's why that's where the paradox lies. Okay.